Well, good morning. I guess it's probably afternoon by now. Our day is gone, gone. Ah, uh, we're down here with Cinder's kids. And these are two weeks, two days old. Good news and bad news. Some have eyes open. I know this one doesn't because I just looked at it a second ago. It's still sandbagging. So probably tomorrow uh, or by uh, the next day, usually by 14 days they're open. This one has peepers. I see them, they're shiny. So uh, they're gonna get a bath today after we're done with this. I know, I know, I know, I know. Usually at this age we give them a bath after their videos because once we give them a bath, they are just ripped. They're dead tired. Um, they've just had it. They're ready to go back to mom and mom gets a little bit of a break while we do videos. So this is kind of like her time off from kids. You're coming right towards the edge of my table. We're just about to the point where we're not going to have anybody left on a table anymore and we're going to be on the ground. But I'll tell you what, for love of Pete, it is 91 degrees here today. It is hotter than the Sahara Desert if you live in Ohio. And you sweat like a bulldog when you get outside. So we're not going outside. Luckily, this morning, I kicked the employees out. I said, please go down and do the kennel outside first. So they were all drenching with sweat when they got in by noon so we did not want to take pups outside so we're actually on the sun porch with no air conditioning on and just ceiling fans and we're both warm but the puppies are in good shape they're still a little bit um a little bit cold sensitive not too bad they're almost done with that probably they would probably be fine but um this way there's no cold air blowing on them but we're hot but that's okay all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start down here with the eyes that are open. Huh, and you're not screaming? Vanessa told me you were the screamer. She said, they're all good, but the black one's the screamer. <laughs> so unfortunately, or fortunately, they just don't like Vanessa today. Is that a whole thing? Huh, she's not the dog whisperer. <laughs> oh, he isn't, he, she, she, no plumbing. She is nice and shiny. She's ebony black. And let me turn you around here and we're gonna blind her with our lights and let you see her little peepers unless she shuts her eyes. She says, I don't know where I am. It's really hard on them when they first open their eyes because they're like, where is everybody? And sometimes they are screamers. Penny's was an awful screamer yesterday. Every one of them screamed the whole time. I, but you're being a good baby. You're not like Vanessa said you were going to be. Now, when we put you on the scale, might be another issue. But let's see what you weigh. You're pretty solid. You're a chunky handful. All right. So this one is a whopping 1 pound, 10.4 ounces. You're doing really good. Mommy is a good milking machine, isn't she? All right. Next one in the row is a Merle. Oh, eyes are open. I saw one. This is a little boy, and he has both eyes kind of squinty open, kind of not open, but you can see little shiny spots. It's got nice color. I love the coloring. They really look cute. I know, you look like somebody socked you in the eye. You got a black eye. Somebody socked you in the eye, didn't they? You need to match on both eyes. You'd look like a raccoon. This is 8327, and this is a littler one. I'll bet he's about a pound, six ounces. Let's see what he weighs. Uh, pound 2.2. .2. I was off by four ounces. I like this black leg. So you've got a yin and a yang leg, don't you? So you're the yin yang, but I don't know if I touch you, bend that leg in. All right, I'm just gonna stick you out here on the corner. All right, let's sneak in here. Up. Oh. It says, don't pull me out. I know I'm going to moose you over. We're going to moose you in. We're going to moose you in. There you go. So this one is the Phantom. Oh my goodness, are you a pretty girl, guy, girl, girl. You're just a pretty girl. I love Phantoms. I know there's a lot of people that don't like Phantoms. Maybe it's the black Phantoms, but I'll tell you what. The fan, little Phantoms have gingerbread that just doesn't stop. I love the gingerbread markings. They've got the brown eyebrows, brown face, brown legs, brown under the tail, and it's just such a dramatic, pretty color. Are you a good baby? I know. 
Your peepers are open. What do you think? I'm gonna turn around there and look at Vanessa. Oh, All right, let's see what you weigh. Did I do your microchip? I can't remember. Nope, 83.26. You're about a pound, eight ounces. Oh, almost one pound, 7.4. I think after you do this so many years, you can come pretty darn close. But coats are really starting to look nice. They're getting some waves in them. And we're gonna set you down here, Tootsie. I found a pair of toenails you missed. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa did toenails yesterday all afternoon. Every puppy on this property got its toenails done. Uh, this is a chocolate, 8329. And this little guy is, oh, eyes are open. He says, I don't know about this. He's gonna have green or hazel eyes. The two Merles will either have black eyes or they'll have blue eyes. We don't get blue eyes very often, so we'll cross our fingers for that. But, I mean, I love blue eyes. I don't know if everybody does, but I love blue eyes. This little guy is a chunk. He's nice and heavy. He's got really pretty, deep, dark brown coat. He says, all right, quit spinning me around. Let's come up here. One pound, 9.6. All right, and then we're going to go down here to the little guy on the end that's still no eyeballs. What do you think, buddy? If I pick you up easy, will you be okay? He says, I don't care. Oh, I do see a slit. The eye on this side towards Vanessa has a little tiny shiny spot on it. So they're coming. Yeah, you're peeking out that little corner. I see that little. I don't know if it shows up in the video or not, but there's a little tiny corner sticking out there. So eyes are gonna be open probably in the next two days. Nose is turning brown. This guy also has a brown nose. Colors are really pretty. Yeah, you're a good baby, aren't you? All right. One pound 14, I'm sorry, one pound 4.6. I was making you bigger than you really were. I know it, you're a good boy. So there's nothing really exciting going on with these guys. Eyes are open. Um, next week, we'll get a little bit of crawling. We may get a little bit of scaredness. Um, they get a fear period when they first get these eyes open that there's like everything's dramatic to them until about between the third and the fifth week, and then that goes away. And then they turn into fun little people that aren't scared of everything that moves. But um, it takes them a little bit to get used to, thought, to different sounds and, sounds and sights. Um, we do keep a radio one in the kennel, so they're used to noises. They don't just have quietness with mom. But um, in about that third to fourth week, they'll start to nibble on dog food and walk around a little bit more for about four weeks. They'll toddle. If they're not scared, they'll toddle a lot. Uh, and by the fifth and sixth week, they're like little munchkins that are running everywhere. So I hope you have a great week. If you have any questions at all about these guys, please feel free to give us a call. I don't mind whatsoever. And uh, I did, well, I've got it done on some. I did put the go-home dates on some of the websites. I haven't got everybody finished yet. But uh, the dates for spay and neuters are all set. Um, I'll check their site today and make sure it's on there. And um, we'll get that over to you on the site if it's not. So have a good one. Call me with questions and have a safe week.